So all we've got to do uh, is go over there um, to the middle of the Congo River through the rapids on, on a boat that's made out of a tree trunk. The river is the only superhighway in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. There are a few big roads in a country the size of Western Europe. We're out with the Wagania fishermen, who use the white water to help get their catch. These huge wicker baskets are used to trap fish. From an early age, they learn how to use the deadly currents, check their nets, secure their ropes, and survive the rapids. You can see how dangerous it is today. Imagine when this is in full flood. It's crazy. They're brought up from little kids to do this, and they do it very skillfully. It's a very traditional but tough way to make a living on the river. The Congo crosses the equator twice. It flows for thousands of kilometers, but you've got to watch where you're going. We get the chance to stand in the middle of the Congo River. We uh, got stuck uh, on a sandbag. We all got off and we've all managed to get it going again. So we're back in business. It takes these long cabled together barges about two weeks to be pushed hundreds of kilometers against the current. It's a bit shorter going back with the flow. They've been delayed in port for days by a dispute over unpaid duties on some of the cargo. Bureaucracy and the corruption that comes with it is a blight across the DRC. As long as you've got money, everything's fine. This man's a big fan of travelling by barge, just like a big family, he says. But as a retired soldier, he's in no rush. Karine Linguli just wants the journey to end. Her husband recently died. She's disabled and has run out of money to buy food for her kids on the boat. She's heading for a new start with a Bible by her side. During the Belgian colonial times, this really was a highway. Among the traffic were luxury steamboats. The remains now lie rusting along the banks. In many ways, the Congo has gone back in time. Now choose where you'd like to go next. Into danger, dodging militia in the Ebola zone, or to the mines to see how electric cars can make the Congo rich. <laughs>